Hi everybody, welcome to the Fort Erie Barn Facebook page. Hey, great news. Uh, last night, Monday night, we met together for the first time after some time now. Uh, after the shutdowns, the restrictions have been lifted in our area and we can meet together with, I think it's up to 10 people. Uh, last night we had uh, four that came out. We shoveled the snow from the sidewalk and got the heater started in the barn. And it was nice and cozy. We had a nice time. Rob Essler was there, Glenn Kreider, and Bill McPhee, plus myself. Our resident raccoon is no longer in the barn, I don't think, but we do have two little black cats uh, now in the barn to, to keep us company. We had a good time of uh, sharing, a time of uh, fellowship, a time of uh, prayer, and also we were looking at uh, uh, our objectives we'll be working on as a, a ministry this, uh, this coming year and some of the challenges in the, in the local community. Uh, also, uh, we're talking about their online site here with the, the Facebook page. I want to encourage uh, members of the Facebook page, if you have something that you would like to, like to post, uh, uh, perhaps you have a message of your own, uh, testimony even, please uh, send it to me um, via the, the Facebook page and then we'll review it and publish it uh, for you. So uh, be sure to do that. In addition, uh, you can invite people to the Facebook page as well. Again, we'll be meeting every Monday night now, and unless there's another restriction or we have a, a postponement for some reason, we'll announce it. And uh, Bill McPhee has a, a short message for us, which he'll, he'll follow. So guys, thank you for uh, tuning in. And uh, if you do live in the Fort Erie area, please come out now every Monday evening. All right, guys. Thank you. God bless. Hey, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the barn. The barn stands for Broken and Restored New. Uh, my name is uh, Bill McPhee, and I'm part of the barn. And what we're doing tonight is we're going to be sharing our uh, message with uh, everybody on, on a regular basis. Uh, we meet Monday nights, and we're going to try to have a a video um, every night uh, shot from here within the barn. Uh, we take turns uh, giving lessons and uh, talking about uh, the Bible and Jesus and God and, and all that. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about uh, perfect timing. And uh, a lot of times uh, everything hinges on perfect timing. And so what I want to do is, is, is talk about that. Um, what I hope to do as well is I want to try to give a, a little bit of uh, what perfect timing means and then maybe give a few examples so you could understand what perfect timing really is. So number one, he is patient, which is uh, 2 Peter verse, uh, or chapter 3, verse 8 to 9. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. We, uh, what we may uh, comprehend as seeing a slow response is due uh, to God not listening to us, we are not taking time to be patient. God is patient with us, and we in return should be patient with Him. It is very easy to compare ourselves to others and wonder why something has come through for them, but it has not, has not yet happened for us. We need to understand that there is a purpose, a reason for something not happening or not changing. I feel it is us that needs to be doing the changing and starting with being patient. And this is part of perfect timing. Uh, number two, God directs. Uh, Proverbs uh, chapter 16 verse 9 says, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. And that's a great lesson because we can say, how many times have we planned something uh, to do this or to do that and for some reason it doesn't happen and uh, really you know what the Lord says uh, 
we, we, we build all these plans when we really don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, so we are all guilty of pre-planning our future. Sometimes it's good, but many times it is not. When we create a long-term plan in our hearts, we then quickly find ourselves disappointed and even lost. But if we confide in the Lord and let Him bring us to where we need to be, there isn't any room for these hurt feelings and the steps we took to get these great moments in our lives are enjoyed throughout the journey. Again, uh, uh, but if we confide in the Lord and let Him bring it to where we need to be. So, continuing there, I just want to uh, share a few more. Okay, so this is a uh, great what we're talking a little bit about is timing. Uh, uh, the Lord's timing, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 3 verse 1 says there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens God never promised us that our life on earth would be easy but he did say that there is a time and a season for everything and I want to just uh, stop there but there's many many places uh, to go on about perfect timing and I want to I wanna just kind of end here in sharing with you what perfect timing kind of means. I want to give you a couple examples. So, we all probably know the story of Joseph, where Joseph was thrown down into the well uh, because of his brothers threw him down there because he had a dream and thought himself uh, better than his brothers and actually predicted his brothers being bowed down to him and um, being bound out, bowed down to him uh, in a dream and everything like that. So his brothers really didn't like him too much and they sent him into the well. Now, what happens after that, there's a caravan of, uh, of camels and people from Egypt that was coming by the cistern, cistern and his brothers, instead of leaving them in the cistern, sold them to this caravan that was going to Egypt. Now, can you imagine? Now, we would say, wow, that's pretty good. That's perfect timing, right? That's perfect timing. This caravan came just in time to get Joseph out of the well and take him to Egypt. But can you imagine the work that had to be done to make that perfect timing happen? That was perfect timing timing but just give for example the, the caravan that was coming from Egypt they were probably planning this trip for months they would have had to have the right directions they'd have to pack up all their food they'd have to get all the camels ready and all the people who are going and just the fact that Joseph's in the cistern when this caravan comes through that's perfect timing Joseph had perfect time in there. And it wasn't anything that anything anybody but the Lord or the Holy Spirit did with, with uh, leading and prompting and guiding. Now I just want to give one more example and then uh, I'm sure you can think some examples in your, your, your uh, knowledge of the Bible. So remember our Christmas story, right? Where uh, Jesus was born in, in the manger or in, in the inn. And uh, the whole reason that Jesus went to, uh, went to Bethlehem, the only reason for that was is because uh, the Caesar, uh, Caesar Augustus, um, was planning, he wanted to take a census. He wanted to mark everybody who existed on a, on a roll, on a, on a sheet. And so he made a declaration that everybody who was born in their hometown had to go back to their hometown for the registry and, and, and make a registry. And it may have been for tax reasons as well. Um, but, so can you imagine the planning that took? The planning on, 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 on Jesus and, and Mary and Joseph to take that trip to the homeland of of Jesus and, and Mary and Joseph and register for the tax 
and, and all the pre-planning for that. And just the fact that Mary gave birth while she was in Bethlehem. Now, that's perfect timing. But all these things had to take place in the, in, in the past and every little niche had to be taken care of. So when we're dealing with the Lord, I just want to encourage you to realize that you may not think you're anywhere, anywhere, but wherever you find yourself today, you can be assured that God has perfect timing for you and your life. Thank you very much and uh, uh, have a good uh, week.